everyone, welcome to Learning with Lisa. It's time to learn about dinosaurs. While you are watching, keep a look at the yellow triceratops that are hiding in different places throughout the video. I will do the same and I will tell you at the end how many I have found. We can see who found the most. Let's start by finding out what dinosaurs are. Dinosaurs are a type of reptile and their name comes from the Greek language. Dino means terrible and saurus means lizard. So dinosaurs are terrible lizards. There are over 700 species. Some were big and some were small. Some walked on four legs and some walked on two. Some had spikes, some had feathers and some had horns. Baby dinosaurs hatched from eggs which varied in size. Large eggs were up to 30 centimetres in length which is about the size of a rugby ball. The smallest dinosaur egg was only about three centimetres in length, which was quite tiny. All dinosaurs lived on land. Dinosaurs did not fly or swim, but there were pterodactyls that were flying reptiles. They were about the size of a large bird. Plesiosaurs also lived at the same time as dinosaurs, these were prehistoric water reptiles and were a little like dolphins. Dinosaurs were around millions of years ago. They were the main animal for more than 150 million years. So, how do we know about dinosaurs? Well, during the age of dinosaurs, or the Mesozoic era, as it is also known, there were no people. So how did we learn about their existence? Some people, called paleontologists, spend their time looking for evidence of dinosaurs. They study fossils, footprints and skeletons. Animal and plant remains from millions of years ago have been imprinted into stone and provide information about the life of dinosaurs. Paleontologists are not able to tell what colours dinosaurs were or the actual sounds they made. They can only guess. Dinosaur fossils and skeletons can be found on display at various museums throughout the world. Dinosaur fossils have been found on every continent on Earth. We know that dinosaurs lived in many different environments such as wet tropical rainforests and dry sandy deserts. Have you ever wondered what dinosaurs ate? Let's find out. There were two types of dinosaurs. Some were carnivores. This means they only ate meat. They had sharp pointed teeth and often walked on two feet. This helped them move fast and their hands were free to catch prey. The other type of dinosaurs were herbivores. They only ate plants and had long flat teeth. Would you like to learn about some popular dinosaurs? Remember to keep looking out for the yellow triceratops though. Our first dinosaur is the Tyrannosaurus rex. It is one of the most ferocious meat-eating dinosaurs that lived. It had the strongest bite of any animal on earth and was about the size of a bus, so it was huge. Next, we have the Brontosaurus. 
This was one of the longest dinosaurs. It had a very long neck and a small head. It was also a slow moving dinosaur because it weighed so much. This dinosaur is called the Stegosaurus. It had large triangular plates sticking out from its back and a tail with four spikes. This was to protect them from being eaten by other dinosaurs. The Stegosaurus was a plant-eating dinosaur and liked to eat ferns, mosses and fruits. The Triceratops had three horns and a frill, that was a type of shield, and was also used to help protect them from meat-eating dinosaurs. The Triceratops was a strong dinosaur and used its size and strength to knock down trees in order to eat the leaves. The Brachiosaurus is one of the tallest dinosaurs that existed and looked a little like a giraffe. It had a small head on a long neck and was able to eat leaves from the tallest trees. The Spinosaurus was a meat-eating dinosaur and ate fish and shark. This dinosaur is called an Ankylosaurus. It had bony plates and spikes on its back. It had a huge tail with a club on the end. It was a herbivore and liked to eat low-lying plants. The last dinosaur we are going to look at today is a Velociraptor. It had feathers and was likened to a bird of play. The Velociraptor was a meat-eating dinosaur. Around 65 million years ago, dinosaurs became extinct. This means they all died. We know that something happened to cause the dinosaurs to disappear. Scientists made a few suggestions. Were the earthquakes and volcanoes responsible? Or did a meteorite hit the earth? Scientists appear to accept the idea that a large meteorite hit the earth. They believed that this caused lots of dust and blocked out the sunlight for many years. It made the earth cold and killed lots of plant life. The plant-eating dinosaurs were left with no plants to eat and starved, which meant the meat-eating dinosaurs ran out of food to eat too. It seems that dinosaurs were unable to adapt to climatic change. Not all animals died. Crocodiles, turtles, snakes and sharks that were around at the same time as the dinosaurs continued living. They managed to find a way to survive. But scientists do not know why these animals lived and the dinosaurs didn't. Birds are considered to be close relatives of the dinosaur. It's now time for our quiz. Let's see how much you can remember. When did dinosaurs exist? Hundreds of years ago? Thousands of years ago? or millions of years ago. The answer is millions of years ago. Which is the most ferocious dinosaur? Triceratops, Tyrannosaurus rex or the Stegosaurus? The answer is Tyrannosaurus rex. What do herbivores eat? Plants only? Meat only? Plants and meat. Herbivores eat plants only. 
What do carnivores eat? Plants only? Meat only? Plants and meat. Carnivores are meat eaters. What is a pterodactyl? A flying reptile? A bird? A water reptile? A pterodactyl is a flying reptile. Which of these animals existed alongside dinosaurs? Elephants, turtles, lions. The answer is turtles. What does a paleontologist study? Planets? Volcanoes, fossils. A paleontologist studies fossils. What do scientists believe happened to the dinosaurs? They were poisoned, a meteorite hit the earth, the dinosaurs went to another planet. Scientists believe a meteorite hit the Earth. We've now finished learning about dinosaurs for today. But before I go, how many Triceratops did you find? I found nine. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on my other videos. And please give it a thumbs up as it really helps the channel. Thank you for watching and bye bye for now. Bye.